that is, that's the that's the plan. Right. <laughs> Let's back up and talk about the first issue you mentioned, the lottery. Sure. Obviously, that's going to take a lot of time. First question I had for you, and this is kind of a, a past question, but it helps us know where you're coming from. Was the lottery proposal when it was on the ballot? Was it something that you favored? Did you vote for or against it? Well, yeah, I voted for it. In fact, I was one of the, the dozen or so House sponsors of a lottery okay. amendment in the 2007 session. Okay. It, it didn't get out of committee, and obviously uh, mm -hmm. the campaign was organized to take it to the voters. So uh, it was something that, that made sense to me. We're surrounded by lottery states. Um, you know, this is a, a, a trend. We're the 43rd state mm -hmm. in the country to, to come up with a, a lottery of some kind or the other. So. That's, uh, you know, I, I was in favor of it. Okay, good. Uh, then the second question, you know, some has been written about some of the differences between um, what you would like to see the lottery look like and uh, what Mr. Halter would like to see it look like. Right. Um, and, you know, of course, if there's ever there's differences, that's what people like to cover is, the, is those uh, disputes. But talk about some of the areas that you and Mr. Halter agree on that you'd like to see, and then kind of talk about some areas where y'all disagree as well. Right. Well, I think, I think, uh, just about everyone agrees that we want this to be a successful lottery. We don't want this to be a, uh, you know, put handcuffs on the lottery commission and not let them advertise, not let them reach out to the community and, and educate folks on, on what these um, these programs, uh, what, what the lottery actually provides in the way of scholarship programs. You know, other states have, have tried to impose, you know, for instance, a fixed return back to the state, and uh, that that's just, it's not good for the business side of the lottery to place those artificial restrictions on. So I think everybody that's, that's been a part of this that I've talked to has said, you know, the voters spoke clearly. We want to make sure that, that this delivers on the promise of, uh, of college scholarships. So we all agree on that. And I really think when it comes to the scholarship programs, we're all heading in the same direction, whether it's the governor, me, uh, Senator Smith, the, the Senate sponsor of the bill, or the lieutenant governor. We're, we want to reach as many students as we can in Arkansas with what we have to work with. Uh, ideally, this thing will be as successful as some of the lotteries you see in Georgia or Tennessee, where they, they are getting close to having a scholarship that pretty much fits any person's situation, whether they have a lower GPA and, and uh, uh, you know, they have a need, a financial need, or their parents make a lot of money and maybe they uh, did better in school, you know, whatever the, the uh, combination of their circumstance, there's a scholarship program for it. So hopefully we're going to have that here and I, I think we can all agree on that. Now the road we take to get there is that's part of the legislative process. Right. You know, that's why we have a, <laughs> that's why we have a legislative session so we can work these things out. But. Well, one, one thing I actually talked to Mr. Halter about on Friday and, and I'll be honest with you, I oppose the lottery. Right. So that's kind of know that. But one of the one of the things that, that, that my side, that those who oppose lottery, said was that the lottery would have a negative impact on the state's economy. Now, obviously, no one wants the state's economy to suffer. The people who, who supported the lottery said it wouldn't have a negative impact. One of the things I would like to see in the proposal is is uh, a study of the lottery's impact from a holistic standpoint. How is it really impacting our state's economy? Not just how well is it paying out scholarships, but what impact is the lottery have? state would, was that something you would would be willing to see worked into the bill well I you know I don't know that that's going to be in this bill in fact I mean at this point it, it's not but it's not, certainly something that I think uh, needs to be done, needs to be done now whether you're correct or, or and I, I don't think that sure. there's going to be a, a, a drastic negative sure. effect on our well, you wouldn't support it no, I wouldn't have supported right. it obviously I don't think the, the people of Arkansas will do that when they when they approve this but I think we do need to, as part of the accountability that, that we want built into this, and the legislature through the legislative oversight function, which is going to be strong, it's not going to be, you know, wind this up and then, and then let it go without any kind of, of uh, oversight function at all. That's part of our accountability to the voters to make sure that uh, not only is it successful, but, but we're not having unintended consequences. So I would foresee through the structure that we're setting up with the the oversight committee that that would be part of our mandate. I think that'd be great. And I think that'd be something that would make a lot of people on my side feel more comfortable sure. with. Because obviously neither me nor you want our economy to suffer. Right. We want Arkansas to have a great strong economy. Absolutely. Absolutely. 